All right, this one is uh, the third isometric. It's a little bit more tricky, but it's also kind of fun too at the same time. So we're going to continue in our uh, same design file. Remember, I have isometric number one and I have isometric number two. Notice how I'm moving them around so that capture position is going to pop up again. Um, I'm going to turn these off so I don't see them. So just click the little eyeball, making sure that my radio button is on design. Uh, my inches or my units are set to inches because as I'm looking at my part, um, these are definitely in inches. So let's go ahead and let's create a new component. Let's call it um, isometric number three. And let's hit OK. And let's get started here. All right. I'm going to make a sketch. Um, I think I'm going to build this one as um, the base first. When I say base, I'm looking at um, this. Let's see here. Um, but, 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 but I'm looking at the the flat, um, almost plate that this thing sits on, the 1.75 by, um, that says 0.75 deep. That's not right. Yeah, that is right. Wow, this thing is really thin. All right. <clears throat> yeah, this 0.75 deep plate um, by quarter inch, this little flat plate that the thing sits on top of. That's what I'm going to start with. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a sketch. Um, start at my XY plane, capture position. All right, it's kind of like capture the flag, right? I'm going to start with a um, very thin, narrow, uh, 1.75 by 0.25 tall rectangle. So 1.75 wide by 0.25 tall. And then I'm going to extrude that by finishing my sketch to the overall depth, which in this case is 0.75. All right, negative 0.75. There we go. Um, now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to build this um, little, looks like a mailbox. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to build the mailbox on top of this plate. Um, so I'm going to make a sketch, and then I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to pick this top surface right here um, for my sketch. Come on. Start sketch. There we go. All right. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a rectangle like this. Now, um, as I'm kind of looking at the width of, I'm going to call it a mailbox because that's what it looks like. The width of my mailbox, uh, I'm looking at the picture, is 0.75. Uh-oh. Keep your iPads charged, guys. Don't let this happen to you. Uh, <laughs> anyway, 0.75 is the width of my mailbox, okay? Um, the distance that the rectangle is off of the edge, you can see from the, uh, um, the drawing, is 0.5. So that centers the mailbox on the plate. And then um, the distance or the length in the depth direction, like this, you can see uh, the number is drawn right on the mailbox. It says 0.5. So there we go. Um, so I'm going to finish this sketch, and then I'm going to extrude it up. So this is going to come up the, um, the height of the mailbox, which that number 1.25 is really sitting there staring at me, um, just like that. Now, <clears throat> what you're going to notice is that um, there's some rounded edges on the top of the box, and I can kind of use the grid, since the grid is um, a quarter inch grid, I can see um, a dimension of 0.25 on those grid boxes. So if I kind of follow, I don't know if you can see my mouse on this recording, but I'm following one of those radiuses in the corner, um, and they look like uh, that the arc goes through one box. So that tells me that the fillet radius, let me zoom in on my, uh, my design. There we go. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, based on what I'm looking at on this isometric, that these two should be filleted 
here and here, and I picked both edges. You can pick multiple edges and then put in 0.25 and then press OK. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the square hole in the middle. So I'm going to um, click on Start Sketch. I'm going to pick the front face. And I'm going to drop a rectangle just right here uh, in the middle. And I'm going to dimension the size. Looks like it's quarter by half, quarter of an inch wide, and a half of an inch tall. But now it's got to be centered, because right now it's still blue. It's blue. I'm going to right click and press OK. It's blue because it doesn't know if I grab that corner, I think. Oops, I'm still drawing dimensions. I didn't right click and hit OK. That's why. All right. And I just accidentally exited out of my sketch. This is good because now you guys can see. I'm going to close these little carrots. I'm going to open up my third sketch because I closed it too quickly. So I'm going to go back into it by double clicking. Maybe. Oh, I have a command. <laughs> I'm on press pull. Cancel. There we go. That's better. All right. Pan. Center it. Um, right click. OK. So if I grab the corner, see how it moves? Because there's nothing telling it. Um, how big it's supposed to be. Where did my dimensions go? Huh. It's like my dimensions disappeared. That's an interesting one. All right, so it is a quarter of an inch off of the edge. So from here to here, 0.25. Oops. 0.25, and then it uh, looks like it's a quarter of an inch off the top. So dimension from here to here, 0.25. All right, now it's all black. I'm not sure where those dimensions went. They're there because it's all black. Just wondering why they're hidden. Huh. Cancel. Right click, or if there's a way to show all dimensions. I don't know, that's weird. Anyway, I'm gonna hit finish, finish sketch, and I'm gonna cut this all the way through and hit okay, and um, I'm all done. So there you go. That part is complete, and if I were to, I'm gonna make this kind of get smaller and get out of my way. If I were to go back to my design, I should hit save. If I go back to my design, I could turn on all of my isometrics. It's kind of funny when they intersect each other. It's like, that's not possible. But uh, you can turn on functions in um, Fusion to allow it to collide and um, calculate interference, they call it. But uh, for this, you're just kind of placing them around. So. There's your three um, isometrics complete. Hit save, and you are done.